March the 8th, 2015, on a Sunday morning, uh -huh. where people should have been in church praying it was our killing. We uh -huh. put the mother and the father together. There's not a day that goes by that Connie Davis doesn't think about her loved ones, especially when she looks into these faces. Davis is raising four of the children the couple left behind. Let go. Let it go. Their murders remain unsolved, and it's part of the reason she's speaking out about crime in her neighborhood. If they'd have had cameras, they'd, they'd have caught the murder. Today we're introducing... In Algiers, women are standing up for their community and putting another set of eyes on the streets. They've partnered with Project NOLA to install crime cameras in the Garden Oaks area, a known hotspot for criminal activity. If you sit in the house and don't do nothing, you don't want to change. We are out here to make a change. Too often, bad things happen and we're not able to assist because we don't have crime cameras nearby. So today, right now, there are two more cameras that are going up on Garden Oak. It's going to be joining our family of over 1,800 crime cameras around the city of New Orleans. The cameras are a welcome addition to the community that's full of children. And we'll see more young people this fall as a new school opens up just blocks away. We're installing these cameras to protect not only our, it goes beyond just the community around here, but also the kids that attend the, the local school.